In the past year or two, we've seen a handful of foldable phones coming from the likes of Samsung, Huawei, and Motorola. And even LG managed to surprise us with a phone that came with a swivel screen. So what kind of new form factor can we expect to see this year? Well, today we're gonna check out the Oppo X2021 rollable phone. The idea here is to give you the option to switch between the conventional 6.7 inch screen and a slightly bigger 7.4 inch screen, with each giving you a different aspect ratio to better suit your needs, be it reading text or looking at photos or watching videos. To expand the screen, simply double click the power button or do a swipe up gesture and you can watch the magic happen. Likewise, to retract the screen, just double click again or do a swipe down gesture and here you go. And as the screen resizes itself, you can also see the content being adjusted on the fly. The main enabling technology here is the flexible OLED panel, which goes around a rolling stick on this side of the phone to the back. And the moving mechanism is driven by two motors underneath in order to give an even force across the screen. In order to give the phone and the screen a rigid structure, there's a two-in-one plate design with their fingers interlocked so that when they are opened or closed, they still give a solid structure overall. On top of that, the OLED panel is actually reinforced by a thin layer of Caterpillar track laminate. Indeed, having poked around the screen a few times in both states, I'm still surprised by how solid it feels, especially when compared to the screens on some of the foldable phones I've handled before. Truth be told though, the Oppo X2021 is a little chunkier and heavier than most other flagship phones, but luckily for me, I'm so used to my LG Wing that this phone feels almost the same in terms of weight and size, and in return, I do get the flexibility in terms of screen size. Now of course, there's always space for improvement. For one, I'm not sure why, but the volume buttons are missing here. Maybe Oppo had another idea earlier, but it never got around to it, so never mind that. And here, I can actually see a faint crease line along where it would normally be wrapped around the stick. But again, compared to the foldable phones, this is nowhere as severe, so I think I can tolerate that. What's more annoying is perhaps the gap here that's causing some dust to be gathered. So whenever I open the phone, I have the tendency to use my finger or a piece of cloth to wipe down that line of dust just like that. So hopefully Oppo will find a way to reduce this kind of issue. Sadly though, Oppo doesn't plan on mass producing this particular device, but we all know that LG is planning on releasing something similar at some point this year. Well, hopefully anyway. So who knows, maybe Oppo will follow suit as well. If you want to hear more about these funky smartphone form factors, do hit the subscribe button. And as always, stay tuned on Engadget.com.